Who do? What? Was this even sir? There's cashier, the government house cashier. Yeah. The guy that was bringing the billions. I'm so passionate about the need for us to move forward in this country. He's sitting dope now because he knows he's going. You move money. I mean, the particular school of offense is there. It's before court. Go and check it. Apply for our processes, please. You will get some of these particular school of offense there. Move money directly from government to bring the change. You see, to pay the, the um, child's school fee in advance. In advance. Dollars. How I mean, how much? 71? Total is over almost 800. In dollars, yes. In dollars. $72,000. I said, what about $20,000? Sorry. $720,000 in advance. In that way that he was going to leave government house. In a poor state like Kogi. And you want me to close my eyes to that? Under the guise of saying, I'm. I'm being used, used by who at this stage of my life, just by who? By who? For crying out loud. I assumed office here. I didn't, I didn't initiate the case. I edited the case file. I called for the case file. I called for the report. And I said, look, there are issues here. Do you know on my own, on my own, I put a call across to him, which ordinarily I'm not supposed to do. Just to honor him as a governor, as a past, immediate past governor. Sir, there are issues. I've seen this case file. Can you just come? Let me, let us clarify these issues. I'm on that camera. He said, ah, sir, I thank you, my brother. I know, uh, but I, I can't come. There's one lady, I don't know what her name is. Uh, so let me say it. Uh, that she, she, she learned she had said, you know, she has surrounded the FCC with over 100 journalists, you know, <laughs> to come and embarrass him and intimidate him and all kind of stuff. I said, okay, if that is your fear, I'm going to pass you through my own gate, special man's gate. You will come to my floor. We will accord you that respect. I will invite my operator operatives, they will come and interrogate you or interview you in my own office. What could be more honorable than that? In my own office. To a lady fear. Ah, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You know what he said? Eh, but can't they come to my village? Ah. <laughs> That's what he told me. Can't they come to my village to, to come and say I, I told you. He also got to talk, he sent a message to him. My dad of the investigation sent a message to him. Something to say we are handing him, we are harassed. Let's be fair on this. Look, we need the FCC. We need the institution to survive. We need this institution to survive. I'm telling you. So many victims that we have wiped tears off their eyes. People that we have swindled and all of that in their millions. How much are we going to say? Every day we keep recovering money for victims. Every day. In my six months, I've, we have recovered close to 120 billion. Over 1,600 convictions. 